Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we take a look at uh, headlines from our city, our state, and our country. We take a look at your comments, your ideas, your suggestions, your thoughts on how we can best connect with our city, Puerto Vallarta, as a community of English-speaking locals. Today is May the 2nd, and as always, it is a pleasure to get together with you this very fine morning i woke up with a craving tacos de canasta oh my goodness i could eat tacos de canasta right this very second but not yet first we're going to deliver a broadcast as we always do then we're going to rush over to plaza caracol which has the nearest tacos de canasta from casa coffee and headlines but even before we go there Ah, good morning it's a pleasure to see each and every one of you and particularly those of you who are joining us live for the first time. If that is your case, feel free to let us know by writing the word new in your comment, and we'll be so very happy to give you a nice little welcome. And if you have something truly important to share, please add a capital letter Q to it, and we'll be happy to bring it up um, <clears throat> during the comment section later on. Today we have all kinds of important news, some helpful updates, and I want to touch base on this whole issue of merchandise again, uh, since it was brought up yesterday. And um, we'll talk about that during the chit chat section or right before it. So we might as well get started with our news, which start with a little bit of what we talked about yesterday, which is this business of Mexico being a country that is a category country, a category two country, as far as the Federal Aviation Agency is concerned, given the <clears throat> safety requirements of the International Civil Aviation Aviation Organization. Well, last night, Mexico's President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador informed in his morning press conference, well, yesterday he did, I read it last night, that Mexico has actually fulfilled all pertinent requisites to uh, be upgraded back to category one when it comes to airline security. Mexico is expecting for an upgrade in the next FAA audit to take place on May 15, and I also learned the reason why we lost the Category 1 designation in the first place. It goes back to May 2021, when the new Mexico City Felipe Angeles Airport was inaugurated. Apparently, those people that do this redesign the airspace above uh, Mexico City and the Valley of Mexico to accommodate for new routes and the new airport in such a way that the Federal Aviation Aviation Agency decided it was not unsafe. So it was us who removed ourselves from Category 1. But again, President López Obrador is confident that we will regain the proper status uh, later on this month. 
And um, we have two acronyms in one headline, but we always love to explain them whenever we put them out there. We've been reporting on the excessive number of beach umbrella vendors in town and how several tourism sectors in the city have echoed their concerns. Now, Setujal, which is the Jalisco Secretary of Tourism, is knocking on Semarnat's door. Semarnat being the Secretary of the Environment and Natural Resources, as this is, Semarnat is, the agency that regulates federal zones such as the beach. So Setujal wants Semarnat to, you know, fix things. Semarnat, the only comment that they've had is that they haven't seen any new permits, which clearly indicates that the people that are now excessively renting umbrellas are not in legal or proper standing. So the question is, who's going to get them out of there? Hopefully, Semarnat will. Speaking of bringing order to chaos, Cecilio Lopez Fernandez, chief of municipal markets for the city, has informed that more and more successful, hopefully, social media presence is coming for three of our city's municipal markets. The one by El Cuale, uh, which is the, the artisanal market, the one in Emiliano Zapata and the fish market in Cinco de Diciembre. Lopez Fernandez added that all three markets are now full to capacity. And this is excellent news because what happens sometimes is that people choose to not open anymore or sometimes people uh, cross the Rainbow Bridge and they don't designate somebody to continue um, attending to their spot on the markets. But now the city has begun a process of organizing all this stuff and bringing it back into orderly fashion, which is good news. Last but not least, Vallarta Pride held a press conference at the International Convention Center in which they announced the upcoming Puerto Vallarta Gay Pride celebration, which will take place from May 17 to the 28th. A full schedule of activities can be found on their website, which is included in this news note. And now let us take a quick look at the weather. Let me put it up on my screen just to see what's going on. And I see that it is 26 degrees right now. Humidity is at 51%. And Fahrenheit degree, our temperature is um, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Our weather forecast for today says mostly clear skies through the day with a high of 29 and a low of 18. Tomorrow, Wednesday, will be a humid with mostly cloudy skies through the day kind of day with a high of 30 and a low of 18. And then Thursday will be humid with mostly cloudy skies again with a high of 31 and a low of 18. And all through this, you could not even look at my maps. I'm just realizing that the maps were not on. So <clears throat> my bad. Here's a map. Sorry about that. Um, anyhow, we, bidi, beep, 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 beep. let's see what else we have. Oh, I, this one caught my attention. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lee Stiver says, good morning from Aramara. If you're a property owner in Aramara, sorry, not including Palmar de Aramara, there is an exciting community driven movement to improve the neighborhood that you should be aware of. There are activities to improve the security function and appearance of the neighborhood private message me for more information that is great news lee whenever you're ready to share this information with the rest of us please let us know and now before we continue with our news i want to bring up the merchandise issue uh and because you know i like to listen to what you say some people want to see mugs other people want to see t-shirts i've been gifted coffee and headlines mugs i've been gifted coffee and headlines t-shirts and i've always <clears throat> been reluctant to get into the whole merchandise business just because it is something else to worry about but most importantly just to give you a glimpse of how this could work because somebody brought up cafe press yesterday cafe press is an american company where you can actually submit your designs they have a basic price for a mug for example let's say that i submitted a design for a coffee and headlines mug. Uh, 
and the cost for coffee press to print it and sell it is $9.99. So I can up the price of that. Let's say that I up it up to $15. So if, if I sold you a mug that says co coffee and headlines or, or chingadera or whatever, um, coffee and headlines gets $10 for that. I get $5 for that. So if you are so compelled to have a, a mug and give 10 of your dollars to a company that has nothing to do or not much to do with Puerto Vallarta for the pleasure of having your own Coffee and Headlines mug, that's perfectly fine. Just let me know. Let me know in a comment. I've always been of the mindset that if I am going to support a project and given the choice between supporting it directly and creating positive impact on that project or supporting a project that I'm not even, I don't even know the people I'm supporting, I always choose to support projects where I know where the money is going to. So the bottom line is, do you want to give $15 to Cafe Press so that I can have five? Or do you want to support Coffee and Headlines with $15? And it goes directly to Coffee and Headlines. So that is my mindset. I'm not saying it's a good idea or it's a bad idea. Uh, but my bottom line is we put together a fair amount of time, energy, and resources to put these things together these broadcasts and the occasional walking tours and stuff like that. So for me to put together the whole line of mugs that have all the phrases that we use and so forth and so on would be um, not a big deal. But I go back to the basic question. Do you want to give $10 to Cafe Press and you don't know exactly what's going to happen to that money? Or do you want to give $10 to Coffee and Headlines and you know exactly where that money is going. There is no good answer. There is no bad answer. I understand there are some people that got to have their mug, got to have their T-shirt, and that is perfectly fine. I am just curious as to where you stand as far as this is concerned. Because, to be quite honest, here at Coffee and Headlines, we can use all the support that we can get. Moving right along with more news, <clears throat> we told you about the, about the big uh, parade that is going to happen today with the Folkloric Festival that is starting in, in our city. And now let me put this up on my screen because I want to show you that they've actually come up with a full schedule. It's actually been online. I just had not seen it before. Uh, for example, today they're going to start an, an exposition uh, an exhibition of costumes that they dance on at 11 o'clock in the morning um, at City Hall. And um, and then <clears throat> there's going to be the, the parade that we mentioned. There's going to be an inauguration ceremony at 7 o'clock at Los Arcos. Then there's going to be a performance tomorrow evening at the Ixtapa Dome. Um, then it's going to be another performance at another plaza on the 4th and another one on the 5th, and so forth and so on. If you want to take a look at the whole um, at the whole schedule, I'm going to leave a link to this schedule in the show notes. I also want to let you know that our friends from El Jardín de la Versalles are announcing an evening featuring live jazz this coming Thursday at 8 p.m., which sounds lovely. I just wish we knew who's playing uh, apparently, I don't know if they're calling the night Bahia Jazz or if there is such a thing as a band called Bahia Jazz. I actually went looking for a band called Bahia Jazz um, and I couldn't find one. So once upon a time, we didn't get a, any information um, about who was playing. And now we know the genre of music that's going to be played. Um but, of course, we still don't know who's going to be playing. My wish, and maybe that's a selfish wish, 
is that whenever folks organize these things, they would mention the players by name. I mean, these players are also looking, speaking of supporting others, these musicians are also looking for better support for themselves. If I was playing at a place like this, I would be a little miffed if my name was not featured because ultimately, as a musician, I would be also looking to make a buck wherever possible. So now, let's see what we have in the comments. <clears throat> Lots of good mornings. Um, I told you about my craving, tacos de canasta, and that's exactly what I'm going to get. Um, and I'll take photos so that I can show them to you. I mean, I think you know tacos de canasta. But the ones at, uh, at uh, Plaza Caracol are quite yummy. Let's see. Let's see. Lots of good mornings. And it's always great to read this. We shared Lee's comment about Aramara. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Parim pam pam. God bless you, Michael. It's okay. Paco, we take your word for the weather. Thank you very much. Um, Paula says she loves Cafe Press. And Paula says mugs sell for $20 in the USA. Um, and Michael says I can have mugs made locally. And I saw another comment later on about printing t-shirts locally. The question, I think, I mean, I appreciate those suggestions, but printing things locally and selling things locally is even more time consuming for yours truly than to have a company like Cafe Press sell them because where are they going to be sold? who's going to collect the money and all that stuff. Um, we're just trying to keep things as simple as possible in our operation. Frank says, not worth it for merchandise, souvenirs, period. Okay, that's a strong opinion from Frank. Thank you very much. Um, yes, better to give the money to Paco's News. Well, that's always been my mindset personally. And you've heard me say this a million times when you give monies to a project or to charity and you don't know exactly what they're going to do with their money. It's always a little fishy. And um, oh, Albert, God bless you. How about a mini catapult paperweight? If I could find such a thing, that would be like a funny Christmas present. Um, could you do t-shirts made and printed locally that might support you and the local economy? I appreciate that again, Mark, but just exactly how do you envision um, the sales and the management of this project? Um, Scott says, if Michael Buford can get them made for you, then why not find out how that can be done again? Who's going to sell them and where and who's going to collect the money? That is my issue. Um, let's see. Have them done locally and have them available then at the meet and greets. I am sure some of us would be happy to volunteer and run a merch table for you. You see... Oh my goodness, This, Lisa, I appreciate the comment, but that goes so much against my grain. Uh, I just don't see. No, no, and, and, and Jules, this is not, this is a good conversation. Thank you very much. This is a great conversation because it has come up before. And I just want to, I want to address this and find a good solution for this because ultimately we are here to 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 make things meaningful for you honestly it would take me two days tops to come up with a dozen great mug designs uh and submit them to cafe press and put it out there and let it fly and so forth and so on the question is do we want the money to go to cafe press or do we want the money to go to coffee and headlines being selfish here i know it uh, let's see. 
Oh, God bless you. You should have Luna man the merchandise table. I can barely have her pick up my slippers when I need her to do that. Uh, let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I think this brings us to the end of our comments. Um, which again brings us to the crux of what we've been talking about. Um, if if having a mug is important to you, let me know. I can absolutely have them designed through Cafe Press. That would be the simplest way for me to do it. Mind you, Cafe Press is in the United States, so if you're an English-speaking local, that may be more expensive for you. If you're in Canada, that may be more expensive for you. If you'd rather have a conversation with your pillow and say, my God, Paco has been doing a great job, let us support him, then I don't need to have this conversation with you. But do let me know. I mean, if you want mugs, I can make mugs. Uh, but honestly, in this economy, in this world where um, I suppose some of us are trying to be less materialistic than we used to be, it's an interesting conversation, at least for me. So think about it. Share your thoughts with me. You know where to find me. You know where the contact form is. And... Um, and keep me posted. Keep me posted. As you know, we're happy to please. And that, that's all I have. I'm going to go get some tacos because I'm feeling hungry. I hope you have a great day. And I hope I gave you something to think about. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a good one.